Mince pies are disgusting and they need to be banned from the universe. Hi, I'm Ada. I'm Liram. And we're going to be talking all things Christmas dinners. Ooh. This is what our ranking system is going to be. The bottom is pass, then we've got meh. Okay is like the middle, then we've got decent, but then the best is top tier. Roast turkey. It's a pass. I know everyone's going to be like, what? You know what? I don't disagree. I don't know. I think it's a meh for me. I just find it so dry. I've done everything possible as a chef to try and not make it dry, and it still comes out like dry. It's too big of a bird, I think. It's a pass. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. I'm saying meh. I guess I'll give it an okay. And it's not bad, but it's not great. It's not so. bad, it's not great. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Roast potatoes. I'm a big fan. Massive fan. Yeah, if you get them right, that is. Well, they need to be crispy. If somebody gave me a Christmas dinner, even a roast, to be honest, with no potatoes, you can take that back. Yeah. What are we ranking this? Top, top tier. tier. <laughs> We're giving it top tier. Yes. Yeah, roast massive. potatoes. Gravy. If it's a good one, then it's top tier for me. There's some people that I've met in my life that don't like gravy at all. Um, I've distanced myself from those people. Yeah, you should, <laughs> definitely. But like, you know what's the worst thing in the world? A watery gravy. Mm. Oh my God. Gravy's really good when it's done right. Top tier. Top tier. Bang. It's top, top tier. tier. Parsnips. Something. Honey parsnips? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, those ones are the good yeah, ones. Those yeah, those are the good ones. <laughs> Bake them, honey, put some rosemary on there or something, some thyme. I do like them on my plate, but they're not a must have for me. End of the day, for me, it's still a parsnip. So it's for me, it's going to be a decent. I'm going to give it a decent too. I would say they're decent. I'll still go for decent. Mulled wine. You Why are, are you divine. <laughs> so fine? You have got me through some dark times, Ooh. but you will always be mine. Really? I don't get it. Isn't it just like hot wine? Acid Ribena. <laughs> like, I don't. What's the point of it? Decent. Nothing will make me put bog wine below top. So <laughs> it's all the way up there. Fair enough. So for me, it's a big fat pass. Oh. If it was served to me, I would still drink it. So I'll give it an okay. Trifle. Woo! <sighs> One of my many loves. Trifle to me is just a layered mess, really. Like, it's just confused. It's like custard and cream and fruit and what are you a trifle I don't know I think this is top tier because I cannot get enough of it you know those big ones that you can buy yeah. I have to tell everyone that's mine um, yeah. pass yeah pass by so for me trifle is top tier yeah top tier top tier Yorkshire puddings I really like them and they're must have on my plate Yorkshire pudding is for a Sunday roast. Yorkshire puddings are not for Christmas dinner. So I'll back you on that? Yeah. But not all the way. So I discovered Yorkshire puddings really late in life. I made one for myself once, like in recent times. It was really good. Yeah. So I think I might start introducing this into my Christmas dinner. For me, if a Yorkshire pudding is done right, top tier. Because it's Christmas dinner, I'm going to pass you. I'd say Yorkies are top tier for me. Yeah, top tier. Mince pies. Mince pies are disgusting and they need to be banned from the universe. There's been years where I don't even have one, but they're not disgusting. I like the pastry and it screams Christmas. Homemade mince pies, decent. I'd say they're okay. So it's part of tradition, so it's gonna get a meh from me. I'm gonna go with a pass. Pigs in blankets. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Now you're talking my language, now you're talking my language. <laughs> oh yes. I've never had like homemade ones. I've only had the store-bought ones. <laughs> One of my favourite parts of Christmas, definitely. 100%. Top tier. All the way top. They're not a necessity, but I would still say they're decent. They don't make an appearance on my plate at Christmas dinner, so I would rate them okay. Brussels sprouts. Ooh, Here we go. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Top tier Brussels sprouts. Mr. Pretentious is here. <laughs> What I do is I boil them a bit, then I fry them with like bits of pancetta. Oh, it's amazing. I put meat and nuts and literally mask the flavour of Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. So it's not <laughs> yeah. about the sprout, is it? They're okay for me. I'm not gonna lie, they're okay. I'm gonna say decent. I don't think it's useless. I like Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna give it a okay. I'm gonna give it a pass. Um, I don't even know what this is. For some reason, this is always in my house in yeah. Christmas. My house is the same. We love them. I've never had it on Christmas, so it doesn't scream Christmas to me personally. I'd say panettone, top, top tier. tier. I'm going to give it an okay. Um, considering this is the first time I've heard of it, <laughs> I'm going to give it a pass. <laughs> I think there was a lot of stuff in there that shouldn't be there. Anything boiled, Anything we're, boiled? We're, yeah, we're going to miss. If you like Brussels sprouts and this video, subscribe.
But if you don't like Brussels sprouts, don't subscribe. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas.